bad. It's such a big event. I'm a little hungover. Uh, isn't that amazing? You know, we still can't prevent a hangover. We have all this medical research. I've tried the water. I've tried the pills. Nothing works. We can prevent children. <laughs> right? We can't prevent a hangover, you know? At least some people want kids. I've never woken up like, ooh, I am really hungover, but you know what? I think I want to keep it. <laughs> yeah, I got to cut back on the sauce, man. I, uh, I blacked out last week. That's embarrassing. I'm too old for that. I told my roommate, he's like, oh, you blacked out? Ugh. That means you forgot to brush your teeth last night. I was like, wow, that is the least of my worries. <laughs> I'm more concerned with the lipstick I'm wearing. Why sent my mom a dick pic? <laughs> yeah, she was like, ah, oh, family plan. <laughs> yeah, uh. These hangovers, you know, people always talk about how honest you are when you're drunk. You hear that a lot. Get that guy drunk, he'll tell you anything. I feel like I'm way more honest when I'm hungover. When I'm drunk, I can lie all day. All right, cops like, you've been drinking? I'm like, no way. Ah. When I'm hungover, that's when I'm honest. My life's in shambles. I have nothing to live for, yeah? Yeah, your friend's like, you want to get brunch? You're like, eh. I've never liked you. <laughs> Everything's a lie when you're drunk. You know, you're like, hey, it's the best night ever. These are my good friends, and she's super hot. <laughs> then you wake up like, ah, it's a waste of time. I spent too much money, and that's a dude. <laughs> yeah. I was hungover on a flight the other day. That's the worst. Oof. Flight hungover. Oh, God. I hate flying. That's the only part of this job I hate. I like a train. Give me an Amtrak any day. No bag check, no security. It's almost like they've never heard of a terrorist. <laughs> I, uh, I hate flying. Flying is so high maintenance. Flying is like a high maintenance girl. Like, you want to get inside me? You got here an hour early, take your shoes off, and do a body scan. You're like, Jesus Christ. Good Lord. Not a train. A train's like a drunk chick. Like, get a beer. Get in here. No security on a train whatsoever. You can walk on a train with three suitcases full of cocaine, like, hey, see something, say something. Choo-choo! <laughs> <laughs> this is how sad and desperate trains are. Trains don't ask to see your ticket until the train has left the station, right? <laughs> They've already started moving, and then they ask, how much of a fuck could they really give? <laughs> Tickets, please. I don't have one. Well, you gotta buy one now. I don't have any money. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, enjoy Newark. All right, yeah. <laughs> Love a train. The only flaw of a train, though, if you fall asleep on a train, they just keep going. You know? <laughs> they don't know where you live, and they don't care, right? <laughs> Every time I wake up on a train, I look like a roofie victim. I'm like, where are we? Who is he? I trusted you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dramatic. Like, you miss your stop on a bus or a subway, you walk a couple extra blocks. You miss your stop on a train, you get out, and you're like, well, I guess it's my new life. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me, though. I worry about everything. I got really bad anxiety. Horrible anxiety. Riddled with anxiety. I live in the city. I don't have a car. I just walk around everywhere. Uh, you guys ever do this one? You guys ever leave the house without headphones? Woo! <laughs> Thoughts are not good. <laughs> my God, this whole time I thought I loved music. Turns out I just hate my brain. <laughs> just being attacked all day long with this insecurity playlist on shuffle. Ah, what are you doing with your life? You drink too much. Gonna die alone? You call that a penis? Ah! Oh, bad head. My brain is evil. It, like, attacks me. It's like a bully. Yeah. I'll be at a party, hanging out. Everybody's having a good time, talking. My brain's like, hey, you weirdo. You're being too quiet. Everybody's wondering why you're such a quiet weirdo. Come on. Get in there. Say something, you lunatic. Come on, you freak. Jump in, you psycho. Come on, get in there. You finally say something, your brain goes, whew, that's what you picked? Ah, <laughs> shut up, dummy. Damn it. My brain never stops. I can't sleep at night. I'm a horrible sleeper. That's why I hate these bed commercials you see at 4 a.m. Hey, you can't sleep? Well, how comfortable is your mattress? What's your sleep number? How's your firmness? You think lack of comfort is what's keeping me up at night? And that's the problem, really? <laughs> that's this goddamn Japanese game show I got going up here, right? <laughs> yeah, it's the worry, the anxiety, the dread. I don't need a mattress designed by NASA. I need a Xanax of some self-esteem, all right? <laughs> Come on, comfort. I could sleep on a gravel road if I had a good childhood. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Brain never stops. That's why I never got these guys like, hey, I'm going to bed. I'm like, what do you mean going to bed? I got to pass out. I can't just go to bed, all right? <laughs> what are you, crazy? You want me to lay alone in a room in the dark in my underwear? That's what screwed me up in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brutal. 
Yeah, I'm an awkward guy, very awkward. Can't make eye contact with people. See, that was tough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on it. It's too intense, too intimate. I don't know how you people do this, you know? It's like a sign of respect. It looks up in the eye. That blows my mind. It's too much. I can't do it. Every time I look up in the eye, I'm like, well, I guess we're in love now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel too much. I'm a feely guy. Everything makes me uncomfortable. Certain words are hard to say. It makes me feel too weird. I love you. Ah, that's tough, huh? Whew, I can't say it. I can barely say croissant. Oh. <laughs> What a horrible word, so pretentious. Good Lord, I can barely order one. They look amazing. I'm like, I'll take a muffin, screw it. Yeah. 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 Socially awkward, you know? I know I'm socially awkward because I asked my friend what his biggest fear was. He said, losing his child. He said, uh, what's your biggest fear, Mark? I said, Ugh. accidentally hitting the FaceTime button on my phone. <laughs> Is there a more terrifying moment in life than that? I can't have people see me. I'm not ready. I got weird stuff going on in my room, you know? Yeah, and I'm eating tuna out of a can. I got half a boner, an old yearbook open. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Too much. 